ever been counted out? Have you ever been excluded from a chance at a better life, a better opportunity? Have you ever been intentionally disinvited from the party? An opportunity for you to be able to experience the joys that everyone else experiences? If you've ever been counted out, then you're like most of us. We all know the feeling of being counted out. But I need you to know that when people count you out, God has blessings for you. Because when people count you out, God has a place for you. God has a place in God's divine purpose for your life. God has a place for you that others will not be able to achieve or accomplish. God has a place for you when you've been counted out. God has a place for you. God also has a plan for you. You know that the plans that God has for you are for your good, to give you a future with hope. God has a plan for you, and that plan is very good. And when you've been counted out, God has a possibility for you, a possibility for a new life, a possibility for a change, a possibility for growth and advancement in your life. When you've been counted out, God has a possibility for you. And finally, when you've been counted out, God has a position for you, a position that is just for you. You know that what God has for you is for you, and no one can take that place. God has a position for you, a position that is better than where you are right now, a position that is higher than anything that you have previously achieved or attained. God has a position for you. So when you've been counted out, remember these four things. God has a place for you. God has a plan for your life. God has a possibility for you that is beyond any possibility that you could ever conceive yourself. And God has a position prepared for you. A position that will place you somewhere you've never been before. A position that will stretch your gifts. A position that will improve your vision of yourself and the vision that God has given you for your future. God has a position, a place, a plan, a possibility, and a position. Go forward in your life today, trusting and believing that God is going to give you all that God has promised for you. And I promise you, God will do exceedingly and abundantly above anything that you could ever ask or think. Go in peace, my friend, and the God of peace be with you.